This is the engine compartment of my 2003 Chevy Silverado and today I'm going to clean this up. I bought this new in 2003. It's now 2021. It's March 7th. It's a beautiful day. It's 60 degrees. Uh, very rare for March in Minnesota. It could be 20 degrees below zero. So I'll take what we can get. But I have never cleaned this engine bay and it's just really primarily just dusty dirty i'm not going to really even touch the engine because i for the most part can't even really see it and i'm going to clean up up here up on the hood too all the painted surfaces around i'm not going to clean the the fabric i need to look into how to do that because that's a mess but it's it, you know it's primarily it's just dusty so i'm going to clean that all up and uh, see if I can't get it looking like it did in 2003. But as far as not being able to see the engine, I remember my first car was a 1967 Mustang. And in that engine bay, all it has pretty much was the engine, radiator, battery, and things, but it only had an alternator. It was manual steering, and they were manual brakes. They were hydraulic, but they were manual. I mean, things have changed, but it was a great car. A lot of fun. It had a 289 cubic inch displacement engine in it and I uh, did a lot of work on that car and learned a lot so I'm going to start out over here on this side of the hood where it's painted and I'm just going to take a rag get it nice and wet just using just water and I want to start at the highest parts and then work my way down because I'm going to get water dripping and uh, I don't want to drip onto parts that I've already cleaned. So I'm just going to wipe over this and dirty and then just take a clean cotton towel and wipe that off. And that looks <laughs> much better there already. But I'm going to continue doing that. But I'll show you what I'm going to do to the engine area. Last time I drove the truck was yesterday. So it has not been run for 24 hours. So it's as cool as it's going to get. I don't want to do this procedure anytime even near just after I've driven the vehicle. Because some of those parts can get really hot. And there's the water from just going over the painted surfaces, primarily on the hood. I have to switch that out, get some clean water. But now the rest of these, I just have a squirter bottle with some dish soap in it. There's probably only about 20 or 30 drops of dish detergent, dish soap in here. The rest of it's water. I'll spray that on the surface. Take a wet rag. Wipe everything down. Got some little grooves in there. I want to get down into the bottom of those. I got a dry rag. Wipe that all off. Oh, that looks great. Look at all oh, that label is just glowing there. Amazing. And for parts that are, there's this accordion type thing here on the air cleaner. I'll take that soapy water. Spread that down. I have a toothbrush here somewhere. I need. Oh, here it is. Just an old toothbrush. And this. I, that way I can get down into those accordions down the bottom and clean that all out. And just wipe that off. 
so I'll repeat that process over the whole engine bay and just doing really just small areas at a time. I don't want to get too big area and the soapy water will start drying and things. So what I like to do is just do small areas at a time. Well, cleaning the battery, there can be acid on there. So I've got some rubber gloves on. I've taken a paper towel and got it wet. It's just actually just damp. And I'll just wipe all over this whole entire surface. And then I'm going to take a dry paper towel and wipe it off. And then I'll throw these rags, paper towels, right into the trash. I just did that one part of the battery. I'll, I'll do the rest of it. I've cleaned all the surfaces in the engine bay. And the towel that I was using to wipe everything off got too dirty, so it's left dirt. So what I'm going to do, taking a microfiber towel and wet it. I'm just going to wipe off the surfaces to get that last bit of dirt off. And then I'll take a dry, clean microfiber towel and wipe that off and let that dry. And that should remove the remainder of that dirt. And I won't be able to tell until that dries. On the dipsticks, I'm just going to use a piece of paper towel because they are really greasy and yucky. And I don't want to get that on the, the rags that I'm using to clean all the other surfaces. And done. Took about an hour and a half to clean everything off. Amazing. So much better than it was. This is before. Really don't touch the engine. Primarily just all these plastic parts. The metal on some of the firewall. Some of it I didn't touch either. Cleaned off some of those hoses that go into the heater core. Cleaned off the antifreeze reservoir. Ah, so much better. Almost like it was when it was brand new 18 years ago. Not quite, but much better than it was. But be sure and check out my other videos. Please subscribe, like, share, leave a comment below. Have a great day.